Bringing Tuscany to you doesn't just mean delicious food and beautiful views. It's about fabulous wine, too. Join Flavio and George for Wine Talk. Hey, guys, welcome to Wine Talk. And today, we're going to talk about the different ways to grow grapes. We're here once again in this beautiful weather here in Montefalonico, Tuscany, with Flavio. Yes, ciao. Good morning. Ciao. <laughs> George, today we are in one of my vineyard. This is one of the oldest vineyard on my property. Ancestor sold the guy to Napoleone. See, si. grew up the so grapes here. This is over 300 years yes, old. Yes, it is not 300 years old, but exactly the same position. This yes. is the vineyard that I planted 25 years ago. Now, what I want to explain it today is uh, the different way to grow up the vineyard in Tuscany. This one, the first one, this that here you have the rootstock, then goes there, and all the leaves goes up, and here you have the uh, puppy grapes. This is could be ripe in uh, October. Or oh, this way is called the cordone speronato. This is the right way to grow up. You have to put this inside here. It's pretty easy. And oh, then, okay. and then go up. Wait, and wait. They, so yeah. this means I can grow wine now. Am I checked out? Uh, no, you can <laughs> do this work. No. Oh, okay. I can't make it. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And the final result will be all the leaves goes up and all the bunch of the grapes stay down and bring in catching and touching by the sun every day. Wow. This is the last 15 years way to produce wine, called once again Cordone Speronato. So this is, this, is this a modern way? Is it a modern way? In this side you have the old way to grow up the the vineyard and the Does grapes. Does this date back 300 years? This is exactly how they do. Years and years ago. You see, this is the main right. grape cut it here. And every year you cut the, the, the grape here and they start again and you have to fix here and you have to fix here. And all the grape goes in direct. This is called the capo verde. So let me ask you, so this is actually 25 years old exactly. and this is new every year that grows every, off of it perfect you got the point you have every to cut year, that of course in this way you have much more work to do because you have to put to, to cut and to fix again every year of this part but look at the result the result is incredible here you have a much more grapes perfect expose on the sun versus the modern way and that this way take much more time to do as a work time but the final result unfortunately the quality is better well the quality is better so you're telling me that 300 400 500 years ago they were that smart they knew how to go grapes and, and we haven't changed and since we then. try we try to do it this way because this way offer has the opportunity to use more the machine the mechanic ah, okay. of the of so so this is a machine right exactly. here. Exactly. Here Here's you a can use machine easier because you can cut, you can control. And it goes easier. underneath. And you can control easier. Uh, okay. This way you need only the hand of the man. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I understand, but the quality. But the quality here is no question. We can make an appointment on the October at the harvest time and we can check the sugar contents here and the sugar contents here and you can easily see the difference so wow. take a note october we'll take a note we'll october will come here and i'm right now look i'm holding a bottle of wine in my hand <laughs> this is true <laughs> okay okay hey thank you very much and that was wine talk ciao, ciao.